All right, guys, full story. The time I took acid and went fishing. So first of all, the who. Me and uh, my good friend, I'm not gonna use his name, I will insert a picture here for you guys of him. So you can see what he looks like, but I won't give his name because of course I don't want this to limit him getting jobs or anything like that as me being a fisherman, I don't need a job. So um, this was about 10 years ago, myself and my buddy, who's one of my best friends, like I said, he was like a father figure to me. He was a few years older than me. We had built a building for a gentleman that he worked for his HVAC company. So my buddy worked for the HVAC company. On the weekends, he got me a job so I could help build the building, get a little bit of extra cash in my pocket. He was always looking out for me. Well, after we built that building for this gentleman, my buddy came up to me and he said, hey man, uh, to thank us for helping him so much build the building, he said we could take his boat out one weekend. And I was like, oh, cool, man. So. We make a plan to go get his boat, go out one weekend. Well, about a day before the trip, we had a friend. There were a bunch of hippies that lived on the street next to us uh, there in, on Depot Street in Masontown, West Virginia. And so there was acid floating around for whatever reason at this particular time. And in my younger days, like I said, this was around 10 years ago. Uh, I was quite a party animal. I would partake in pretty much anything. It was just what I did. I'm from a small town. We didn't have a lot to do. So I did a lot of party. So anyway, we get this acid off this kid that it was liquid acid. We'd never seen liquid acid before. I hadn't seen acid many times previous to this either. This was only, you know, maybe I've tripped a handful of times on acid. But anyway, so we get this liquid acid with sweet tarts and my buddy goes, hey man, we're not gonna take these now. We're gonna wait till tomorrow and we're gonna take the boat out and we'll take that acid when we're out there fishing. So I was like, all right, cool, man. Seems like a good idea. So morning comes, we're up at daylight. My buddy had a 1988 Ford F-250 one of the old schools that you had to pump the clutch in the gas and he was giving it the old, come on baby, come on baby, as we were turning her on. Well, finally she fired up, we went and picked up the boat, went to Cheat Lake in Cheat Lake, West Virginia. It is a recreational lake as well as a fishing lake, but there's a lot of jet skis, recreational boaters, and fishing boat is always there. So we knew we had to be careful this day. So no longer than us putting the boat in the water, my buddy goes, hey, you wanna eat them? I was like, sure, beautiful day, water super clear. So we're fishing for about 30, 45 minutes, and then the acid starts to kick in. I was throwing a Strike King single Colorado blade spinnerbait. And let me tell you, with that water being clear, all I did for about nine hours straight is just throw that spinnerbait and just watch it come back to me. And it was the most beautiful experience you would ever see with that sun hitting that shiny uh, silver blade and then that water. It was just the most crystal clear water I'd ever seen it there. So anyway, we're fishing. We're about halfway through the day, hadn't caught anything. We were literally just pretty much casting and watching our lures come back in. We did a little bit of swimming, but most of the time we were just casting and reeling, casting and reeling. It was just such a pleasure watching those lures just come back with that sun hitting. I can't explain the beautiful experience that it was. Well, so we're about halfway through the day and we're up, uh, the, it's, it's kind of like a canyon going through one of the waterways there at the lake and there's big rock banks on either side of us. Well, my buddy, he hooks into a fish on one of these rock banks all of a sudden. I'm not even exaggerating. There were like 50 jet skis that just came flying by. At this point, we're peaking. I mean, we're, this is midday. We've been tripping for three, four hours. We were peaking. I have no idea how my buddy does it, but as he's reeling in a fish, he's on the trolling motor, keeping us off this cliff, reels it, unhooks it, next cast, same thing, still jet skis, I mean, just flying by, gets another bite, reels that in, and keeps us off the bank. Now, how this man had the mental capacity to do that, I would never understand, because like I said, all day, all I did is cast out and watch that spinner come back, and it was all pretty. So anyway, so we've been fishing for, you know, nine, 10 hours out there, dodging fishing boat every time we saw him. We didn't, we didn't even want to talk to him, obviously, because we were tripping. I mean, it was quite noticeable that we were on something. So every time we saw fishing boat, we would just put the poles down and just be swimming like we were recreational uh, lake users like everybody else. Well, we get towards the end of the evening. We're still tripping. This doesn't go away. Like, we are still tripping. Whatever that liquid acid. So the thing about liquid acid, let me tell you, is there's really not a way to measure it. They just do it by the drop. So some of them get a little bit more, some of them get a little bit less. I don't know. The two that we had, they were both stacked with this liquid acid. I mean, we were tripping hard all day. Well, anyway, it gets to the end of the day. I'm still doing the cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve, literally just watching my blade turn in the water. All of a sudden, my blade just disappears. I didn't set the hook. I didn't do anything. I just kept reeling. Ended up catching a big old three pounder on the spinnerbait to end the day. My buddy caught those other two fish. 
Uh, it was a great fun day of laughs and just hanging out with a really, really good friend that I consider a brother and, like I said, a father figure. Uh, but it was also a wild experience when those jet skis were going by, man. I thought it was like the Titanic was going down. I mean, it was just every everything when you're tripping and fishing, it's, it's like it's activated times 10. The water was sparkling times 10. My blade, the vibration for my rod, just everything just seemed supernatural because it probably was because I was tripping. And now when you trip, it's not like what people think, like you're seeing stuff all over the place. We didn't. It just made everything so much better, I guess you could say. Like I was in the fishing and I wasn't even catching any fish. So I don't recommend taking acid. Like I said, this was a long time ago in my life. Who knows what's in it? It's not necessarily a safe drug, but this is a true story. I did go fishing on acid and uh, I ended up catching a fish and we had a good day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Also, if you enjoyed this story, I would like you guys to know that I have hundreds of fishing videos of me just straight wrecking bass, trout, whatever, uh, pan fish that I would love for you guys to check out if you like this video. Thank you guys for watching today. Don't take acid when you, before you go fishing and have a great day.